This is going to be a shotgun tour of Shotgun King, a final checkmate. Let's just dive right in. The options are pretty straightforward. This is basically a difficulty scale, but we're not going to touch that for the moment. Give, uh, give the creators some credit. And then dive right in. This is just the demo, but apparently it's a pretty generous one. There is some story here, but it's not terribly critical, it's mostly framing. Black King's subjects all left him, and out of vengeance, he goes for the shotgun, despite the possible consequences. And here we go. In roguelike form, there's a lot of open information about everything on the board. How the pieces move, when they will move next, how much health they currently have. I also have information on the shotgun blast that apparently my king is carrying. From the actual arc of the shots, to information about whether things are in range or not. How much ammo I have in reserve and loaded and a couple of what they call folly shields. Uh, and we'll probably see those in action in a bit here. So let's go ahead and start moving around the board and see what happens. Now we got some pieces ready to move. And march they do. That one was going to move and it did not because the knight jumped in its way. So we already see there's some precedence in the pieces in the order that they move and that they can indeed block other pieces just like regular chess. Now, if I try and move here, it will prevent me because in doing so, I would be opening myself up to checkmate. I would also be doing that if I moved there, and if I moved there. So I'm in a pretty pickle, uh, but I have one more tool that I don't normally have in chess, and that is shotgun. So that's kind of the play that you're going to get. So I get my shields back every turn. That's nice. I can evaluate the situation carefully, figure out where I am in danger, and avoid those spots. As it stands, I'm gonna let this guy boing. Now, he has one health left, so let's see if it lets me shoot him. Oh, actually, I know what it lets me shoot him, so we're good. Let's take care of some of these pawns. That rook is gonna land close, good. Let's deal with this bishop. Reload. And fire. So the way the game is played is interesting because it forces you to make some pretty careful decisions. So notice I was both moving and clicking this to reload. Um, as long as you have spare ammo, I can just stay put and keep loading my gun and shooting it on alternate turns. But now that I'm out of ammo, I cannot reload my gun. By staying there, I have to move to acquire more ammunition. So I'm in a pretty precarious spot, actually. That said, I have some pretty safe spaces to move to, and I will take full advantage of that. So, moving gave me another ammo. It did not let me load yet. So now I have to load it either by moving or by manually reloading. So there's a pretty heavy trade-off that you have to consider on whether you'll get stuck or not by moving. Just like in regular chess in many ways, actually. So kudos to them for that consideration. He's gonna... Check. No. And here, the roguelike part comes to play. You pick a combination of one benefit for you and one benefit for your foes. Um, so, more firepower, I assume that means more damage. Remove one bishop and add six pawns. Uh, that's kind of nuts. I'm actually curious to see what would, that would look like even, but uh, the other one is I gain less range, but the king is a lot less health. Their king, I assume, not mine. Could be mine too. Well, I guess I don't have health, so that would have to be their health. And then add a rook and gain two ammo each time you kill a rook. That's kind of interesting trade-off there. 
I kind of want to see what happens here. And off to floor two. So I also have this, which is a one-shot use card, which is going to let me move like some other piece. There may be other abilities they use for that as well, but for now, I've seen the uh, move option the most. Let's get out of there. Don't want to move closer yet. That rook is blocking this entire column. is going to get nasty real quick. So let's go here. Here. Okay. Yes, some degree of safety. Right, that would be stupid. trouble yet. Although we will be soon. Yes, so now I'm in a classic checkmate scenario. The only option I'm going to have is to use the Knight's Soul, except I can't do that. As you can see, I would be hit by this rook here. I hit either of these. And I would be hit by pawns if I went to either of these. So I am in serious danger. Uh, this rook does have one health. I believe I can kill it in one shot. Will it let me? It is going to warn me that I'm doing something stupid. Okay. But I think I can kill it. I'm going to do it. So, it will let you go past the Folly Shields. That's good to know. If you know that you have a surefire kill. Um, but you are putting yourself in really high risk getting that close to death. So, not recommended, I believe. And the game will let you know that. Okay, let's just do some pot shots here. Uh, I'm gonna get away from this king. Do not want to be stuck against the wall with him coming towards me. There we go. Blunderbuss gives me more damage, but at a wider arc, so I hit more things, but much more diffuse damage. Um, I did like more precision, but I'll have to look into that one in the future. This one is interesting. Strafe mode. Right-click a target and fire on your next move. So I assume that means then that I'm basically deferring, allowing myself to get out of a situation. You know what? No, it's probably that I use this turn up in aiming and then the next turn I move and shoot simultaneously. That would be my guess. So let's see what that looks like. So many more pawns. This may have been a mistake already. Um, on the bright side, my rooks or their rooks are going to be uh, pretty cramped space-wise. Oh man, my range is so bad now. Problems. I'm going to aim at this guy. Okay, so I aimed. It hasn't used anything. Nothing's moved. And then I'm going to make my move. Okay. So it just allows you to shoot and move in a single turn. With all the benefits therein. Oh no, everything bad's moving at once. <laughs> Let's clear that out. Good. The rooks were not smart about this. So I 
have a chance here. Let's play. What's my firepower? Four? Okay, I'm going to make it let me do this. Oh, it just let me do it. Okay, good. take out at least one of these guys. That one's dying. I'm aware. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, now I have a chance. I did... No, wow, okay. That was not my intent. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm okay for now. I do not like that that one's going to be, uh, to be promoted. I gotta start last time. We have a queen on the board. Fantastic. Uh, time to just violate that king. Oh, queen's out. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. And now the queen's going to show up on this round. Uh, as far as I've seen in what I played of this so far, she always seem, seems to show up on the fourth floor, so that's just a fixed factor. <sighs> Let's use the sacred crown. I have a suspicion I'm gonna want to have that getaway card with her around. So there are other parts of chess that come to play in this too. So skewer formations are still a thing. If I, there is a rook hiding behind a pawn and I blast that pawn, that rook will capture me immediately. So you still have to be aware of a lot of the standard rules in chess, which I quite like. It's a little more than just a paper thin veneer of chess pieces moving, no. These are still actual chess pieces playing by actual chess rules. Um, except for the turn based thing, obviously, but each individual piece still acts by those rules. Um, and you still have to act by the rules of checkmate and check. Um, not moving out of check will put you in checkmate. So you have to be proactive about it. I don't want to kill that pawn. That would kill me. Uh, I want to do something more like this. Queen's finally found an angle in on me. I do not want that, for obvious reasons. And now the Queen's left. I'm in big trouble. And I'm pretty sure one blast to the face will not suffice, so I'm gonna use my Knight's Soul. Because I believe it'll give me a free move, but I should be able to use this to get a clean getaway. See if it lets me do that. And I get my extra turn. Good. Okay, so it does work as intended. Or as declared. Let's get that way. And just some hot shots at the king here. Uh, uh, load. Oh, Queen's Oh, I'm an idiot. Queen's right there. Dear. Now I've done it. <laughs> yeah, I've left myself with nowhere to run. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm screwed. Well, might as well make this uh, an honorable lose and just let the king take me. So yeah, that's kind of how this thing plays out. Uh, 
dang tricky. It uses some pretty clever applications of chess rules. Um, more more tact to it than I expected. Um, over a more action premise, the shotgun part is very tastefully used and very carefully balanced. It seems so. I appreciate it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that little glimpse into it. And if you're interested, that demo is out on Steam and apparently it gives you quite a bit to play with. So, um, yeah, worth checking out to see if you're interested. Take care.